I have created a sin against humanity. Oh my god. So, I, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, well, welcome to another episode on the Bravest Miner server. <laughs> As always, this is Horror Biscuit. And, uh, so I, I left this thing on overnight. I had this switch down, which means that these hoppers just filled with eggs. And I don't know if I showed you guys. Ow. I think I did this off camera, but I actually added... You can see over there, that's a whole nother row of hoppers. So instead of just being the three he here, I have another row alongside it with more hoppers. So there's six hoppers total. I guess because I had this off, all six of those hoppers and the dispenser are completely filled to the capacity of eggs. So I flipped the switch and after shooting eggs for about 10 minutes, I was given this monstrosity. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh, that startled me. I thought they were all going to start flying out. Oh my god, that is so creepy. What's in that chicken run around? <laughs> Alright, well we will be... We will be back again once the, um... <laughs> well, well, once these grow up, I'm gonna have to. I, I, I have to see this. The fuck? <laughs> what the hell's going on? It's like popcorn, but with more chaos. The fuck are you going? I think I might need an extra layer of wall on this side. Just maybe. Just maybe. Well, let's do that real quick. With any luck, I can get this up before the rest of those chickens pop up. <laughs> oh god, it's happening. This is becoming a damn mess. Oh, oh god. Oh god. This isn't working the way I planned. this wire and I can't, uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Oh well, looks like I'll have to do some minor tweaking. But overall, I'd say the machine is a success. <laughs> a very amusing success. I wonder if I can put um, hoppers underneath these um, underneath these repeaters. All right, everybody, welcome back. So I've been uh, trying to figure out a, si a solution to our uh, chicken problem, and I think I might have it. So I want to show you guys some of the things. I've discovered in testing. Now, I don't know if they will actually work in application, but say I got a hopper here. It turns out that I can indeed place a redstone repeater on top. And, oh, oh, 
Where'd you go? <laughs> cool. <clears throat> and I can also place redstone on top. So here's my plan, and I don't know if it will work. But the idea is to basically... All of these cir exposed circuits here... I'm going to replace with um, hoppers. All... Like, I'm going to have a row of hoppers from the middle. And po I'll point them out to this, the hopper... Yeah, jeez. Here. And the idea is that... Like, my, my only concern is, I think... That if I stick a hopper underneath this dispenser... Um... It should, it should still... It won't. It'll. It'll fire them off before it can suck them. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have to actually. You know what? I'll just make the hoppers come in from the side, like maybe that side, and just kind of ba basically have those hoppers along that side. I'll kind of point to each other, and then the last one pointing to the main one. And then all these other ones will just kind of funnel towards there. So the only other problem is, I, I don't, I know I didn't really explain it that well, but I need to figure out how many hop or hoppers I need. So it looks like I will need at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total hoppers. I have four now, um, and I do not think I have enough iron. Nope, I sure as hell don't, so uh, hold on just a second while I go mine some more. Oh. My. God. Oh God. Oh, this is freaking disgusting. It's like being back in a super hostile map. Oh, oh God. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Let, let, let's just go, let's go. Alright guys, we are back, and <laughs> I finally have enough iron to uh, make 10 hopper, with some to spare that I'm going to be using to uh, finally make an anvil so I can repair some of my uh, my poor tools. So, now that I've got these... Oh god, how am I going to do this? This is going to be hard. I'm probably going to have to do this one row at a time. And I'm thinking I might actually send the hoppers all the way down to here. Because every now and then I have found dead chicken parts <laughs> in this little niche with the lever. I don't know if the chicken has just run around and jumped right in there or if he just... I don't know, but I'm, I figure I probably shouldn't take the chance. But anyway, let's do this. So this is going to essentially, uh, it, it should still all function. I mean, the hopper should still fill up just fine. I just gotta, just gotta remember how this is done. So this repeater, you know, maybe I should just come in from this side. Oh yeah, this command block, this is, this is how we tell, I teleport back to the hub. And I'll show you guys that a little bit later. The hub. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that I got lava in here. Even though that's the most important element. I'm going to have to make sure not to accidentally... Uh, not to accidentally um, break that. So here's what we're going to do. Ah, uh, shit. Actually, how am I going to do this? I might have to start with the first piece. Oh, and I didn't make enough either, did I? Feck. I need to make at least one more. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, we got the hopper. So let's see here. Let's start with... See, the, I, the tricky part is is that the, hop, the first hopper already has to be in place so they can connect properly. 
So let's just do... I'm going to have to remove my stairs. <laughs> let's cut this guy, and... Let's see, so this block right here is the one with the le lever. So this... Okay, the hopper. So let's attach him. Okay. So this is going to be a repeater facing that wall. So let's cut this. Stick this guy pointing to him. And then attach this repeater. Okay. That should work. Let's get the redstone. I might as well just do this. This will make a lot more sense. Oh. Okay, that seems to be working. Actually, no, here's a good way to test it. Cool. Alright. So, let's do the rest of this row. Because this is just redstone. Nothing too complicated. So, attach to him. Him and him. That and that. Okay. <sighs> so, I have an. I think it's an inverted comparator. The repeater pointing that way. Jeez. Here's that. Okay, this one's facing the wall. I just hope I remember this. So the comparator is pointing. Please point. Okay. And this needs to be inverted, like so. And then, fuck, which way was the repeater going? The repeater was facing outward, I believe. So. Let's have the repeater doing this, and then the redstone. Oh god, and now I gotta get this other one in there. I'm pretty sure this last repeater was facing straight into the wall. So we'll do this, and then like that. Success, I think. <laughs> okay, this should help me test. I was gonna make glass, but or I was gonna use glass, but I didn't have any handy, so I just used fence because I have plenty of wood on hand. So hopefully now, when they spawn, assuming that none of them pop out through this. They'll, if they come out, they'll come through this area, and then they'll still get funneled properly into the chest. I mean, hey, if it picked up those things, then maybe it's working. Maybe it's working. So I guess I'll just wait a little bit and... Oh yeah, I'll show you guys what I've been doing around here. As you notice, I've I've put down some. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no, he he died normal. That's good. I think can't tell. So anyway, I've put down some flooring around here, make it look a little bit more lived in. I've got this super nice little balcony here, just for for some R and R. It's got a great view and. I think that this this spot right here turned out really well. The nice coffee table. And it just looks cool. And uh, I've moved my laundry machine things down here because I mean this floor is noisy enough. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I already mentioned that I expanded this. Well, when I was recording the earlier part of this finished product, it was yesterday. 
So I don't quite remember all that I showed you. Ew, is, is that a maggot? I think that's a maggot. Sorry. This is a clean house. <laughs> oh yeah, I added all these fancy lights. They actually give a good amount of light. So uh, I've got a pet rabbit. He's fluffy butt. He's just kind of chilling. He's usually not in his bed. He's usually jumping up and down on my desk. <laughs> oh yeah, and this. Um, so uh, apparently everyone on the server gets a free dragon to ride around. And I guess the one that they gave me was one of the ginormous ones. And Max was like, hey, so what do you want the dragon named? And I'm like, ah, oh, just name it whatever. Uh, so he did. Hi, dragon. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I added these cloud blocks in to kind of make it look like steam. I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of corny. But it kind of seems, it's kind of cool at the same time. And yeah, I added a table with meat and glowstone. And yes, the glowstone does give off light, even though I have this lamp overhead. I've got a couch here. and It's just, the area feels a lot more cozy. And uh, Sickness let me farm out a bunch of wool from her sheep farm. And that I will be using to make the balloon over the airship. And I think it's going to be cool. So let's come back down here. I'm not seeing any drops in there, so that's it. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. I think I might just have to disable or turn up, like, remove this switch. The only other alternative I can think of is just to move the switch to here. Let's try that. Let's sort my inventory a little bit. Fill that up. That should be this one. Yeah. So just beat the uh, hidden lever. Okay, now I just gotta hope that actually works. It doesn't seem like it will, <laughs> but it's worth a shot. And I'm gonna have to find a new place for all these eggs. But anyway, hopefully this works. Um, that's I'm pretty sure that's more than time that I or phew, God, I'm all tongue tied. I'm out of time. I'm out of time. So, next episode, we will definitely be building that guy out. Turning it into more of a boat and less of a platform. So, hope to see, uh, hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.